Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the DXGI error, device removed error. And this typically would occur, or you get this pop up if your graphics card is not able to run on your computer. So if you're unable to connect with your graphics card driver, this tutorial will hopefully be able to resolve the problem for you guys. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back with regedit right above run command on Windows 10 earlier versions, we'll just say regedit. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. So I'm just going to drag the window over here a little bit. First thing I would suggest is to create a backup of your registry so if anything ever went wrong or you ever wanted to go back to the earlier version of the registry before we did anything, I just want to show you guys how to do it. So you go up and left click on the file tab, left click on export, and then you can save this backup as whatever you want. And I'm going to select all for export range. So if you're currently left clicked on one of these, you want to just select all. And then I'm just going to put it on the desktop. You can save it wherever you want personally. Again, file name, just saving that as backup. I'm going to left click on save. And it might take a moment to save, so just be patient. Okay, so once that's saved, if you ever wanted to go back, just go and left click on the File tab and left click on Import. And this is just basically how you would import the backup registry file. So if you run on our desktop, you could just import it right through here and then just left click on Open. So pretty straightforward. So once you've done that, now you want to go on the left side here and expand the HKEY Local Machine subfolder. So double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. And once you've done that, you want to do the same thing for the System folder and then current control set and then control I'm going to expand the sidebar here a little bit and you can also follow our path up at the top of this window so you can see exactly where we're going and now you want to go down and double click on the graphics drivers or just left click on the folder one time but you want to be underneath graphics drivers right here and on the right side you want to click in a blank spot left click on new and then left click on D word 32 bit value. So now you want to name this as T, so capital T, lowercase dr, and then uppercase level, so L E V E L, all one word. So again, T D R level, all one word with the T and the L capital. Hit enter to save the name here. Once you're done with that, you want to double click on it. You want to make sure value data is set to zero, and then left click on OK. Once you're done that, I would suggest restarting your computer. Hopefully that's resolved the issue. If it has not, if we uh, close out of here, open up the start menu, you want to type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager. Left click on that one time. Now you want to expand the display adapter section. So just double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it one time. So whatever's under here, you want to right click on it. Left click on update driver. I'd suggest searching automatically for updated driver software. Windows will search your computer and the internet for the latest driver software for your device unless you've disabled this feature in your device installation settings. So I'm going to left click on that. Should take a moment here, so just be patient. And if it doesn't find anything, you can always go online, just look up your graphics driver online, see if there's a newer version. And most major companies actually have automatic installers that will go and find applicable software for you guys. So we can see the best drivers are already installed and close out of here. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.